shots to take down the the helicopter as it does sniper rounds. Video game ice physics. Yeah, very unnecessary ice physics. Ice physics. That like, I uh, I'm not I I pretty sure that's the only place the ice actually exists in the entire game, but. I might be wrong. I've never seen realistic ice physics in any game. It's just, I don't even understand why they do it. I mean, do these I, people I, never see ice? I, I enjoyed at least the ice effects in, like, Penundrum. Penumbrum. P do you mean Penumbra? Penumbra. Penumbra. It's some pen umbra. It's uh, fuck umbra is darkness. I don't remember what the fuck pen was. Probably not five. No, I don't know. It might mean like before Ooh, darkness or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pen ultimate, right? But yeah, it's. I, I thought the ice effects on that were pretty good when you had to make your way across and not fall through and all that jazz. Don't remember it. Uh, this is just then, then. Then watch the the crackle. I, no, I watched the LP. I just don't remember it. And really, heli you watch it. Helicopters come in so many shapes. There's the helicopter sequence in Metal Gear Solid. There's the one in Kane and Lynch, and then we have shit like this. Well, which which one in Metal Gear Solid? Uh, the first one. Not the not the one in every other one of them. I don't remember if there was one and two. I thought, no. I, I think there was. The only thing. I know, there, I know there was a couple and three. Never played it. Uh, I played a bit of it, but there, there is a pretty comprehensive LP of it out there. Maybe you've heard of this uh, gentleman. Oh. Uh, Negaroth. It's pretty good. Oh, you uploaded it? No, God no. I think I am a schmuck. Um, but yeah, um, just to vaguely talk about this level, because it's fucking exciting. It's not just the first level with some snow effects. Uh, we have to go get some batteries that are assigned Greek letters for some reason. And they're, they're scattered all around Apocalypse New York. The and... Why say post-apocalyptic future? There's never a post-apocalyptic past that we have on record. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we're we're just supposed to get these batteries and then communicate with some woman who's probably it, it might be the woman from the intro, and she's talking from the present. Even though I don't really know how she would know that there's an apocalypse in the future. Locational uh, damage. On zombies. Uh, okay. Of course. An enemy that you one shot and would probably never notice had locational damage. Yeah. Well, I mean, relatively, other enemies have locational damage, like when they grab their dicks or when you pop their head off. Oh. So. Yeah, boom. I, I I finally didn't fuck up with the uh, the rocket launcher. All it took was a helicopter that was totally stationary. Yes? How dare you? I don't see you doing any better. <laughs> if you had this game, you would be like, oh dear. <laughs> if I had this game, I would pick it up, laugh a lot, and then put it back down. You would love it. You'd be like, this is the best game ever, Fraulein. Warum soll ich Frau das sagen? Yes? Why would I say Fraulein? What, I don't know. What, you, what? You, speak, you speak bits of German. I speak German occasionally, yes. Scheiß Kopf? Hans Walde Lohle. But uh, that was a different LP altogether. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. A lot of, this entire particular level just comes off as incredibly lazy, more or less. Because I would say about 70% of it that's not backtracking through the level itself is inevitably backtracking through a level you've already been through. That wasn't very exciting to begin with because it was a bunch of big, wide open, empty space. And yeah, I guess these little set pieces like the destroyed subway are fine, but Ooh, yeah. overall, the level is just 
already retreading boring ground you've already been to. Invisible walls and shit, and we went from Just alpha... An another prime example of why you... Why a third-person Duke Nukem game just does not work. D did any Duke game except for 3D work? But, yeah, that was pretty exciting. But we, by from that cinematic, you can now tell that we have all the power cells that okay, we need. Okay, so we started at uh, Alpha, went to Del Delta, Alpha. and then f yeah. ended with Beta. This is... Uh, this Beta. is probably intentional because I'm sure that the alumni, uh, the uh, the people that work for whatever company that is in 3D realms, are the alumni of several rightly renowned colleges and universities with a wide variety of alphabet, whatever the hell they called it. For uh, I know it's probably a bit nitpicky, but do you mean alumni? Yes. Alumni. Cause. So I thought you were talking about some like evil organ, like Machiavellian organization, like the Illuminati or something. I don't know. We don't have that sort of thing here. Oh wait. Oh, you do. You don't have Freemasons or anything like that. No, I think the capitalists didn't have to hide it. They just joined the local capitalist party and fucked everyone over directly. Well, no, it's, it's, a, it's a community organization for organizing the community. Well, the community here is... Secretly. It didn't have to be secret here. They could just openly fuck everyone over. No, the Freemasons are oh. good. Very oh. good. Super good. I th it's just... It's just some things like the Vatican are so jealous. Yeah. They're like... Come on, guys. We need uh, we need some power back, and the Freemasons are like, uh, no, what? And yeah, look at all that health you lost. I think that's safer thing to talk about, so we don't get Freemason. I don't know what memberships. Of course. No. Um, yeah, the the grenade launcher riot pigs are actually very very fucking dangerous. They. As you could tell from that graffiti with the boobs, um, you, just Marie. one grenade yeah. took out like 60 health, I think, and that was with armor on, so, yeah, I, for the most part, it's, I think it's fairly good that you don't run into them that often, but when you do, it's a very dangerous experience, to say the least. Mm -hmm. Especially from far away, you can't really see the difference between a one pit to Big another, resist. honestly. That'll do, uh, resist. Everything, That'll do. Everything tastes uh, yummy in my tummy. That'll do, racist. That'll do. I know, you already made a babe reference. Babe LP in the city. <laughs> What is an LP in but, the country like? Does everyone have a fine southern drawl or something? I say, I say, I say, I say, mint and julep. <laughs> Get the house boy out here. I have to have my back rubbed. I, I'm only recording this through my internet. Hello, it's me, a Thomas a Jefferson. What, that guy, the guy from Dr. Some, Dr. McDinger comic? I need some fine chocolate in this milk. Meow. Because he was also a cat person. Also, I I, I really can't uh, specify enough. The rocket launcher in this game is fucking absolute shit. I I shot him point blank with it, and he was just like, eh, whatever. Well. Uh, unless there's no splash damage on it, which I guess. Maybe they only count the damage once. I don't know. But hey, we're going to go get uh, a secret. It's going to be a great I secret. It's going to be need. like the best secret ever. Because, I mean, you know you know what else this game needs to really make it even longer? Is uh, some secret levels. Because uh, the original Duke Nukem had secret levels, so this one should have secret levels, I, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. But uh, before we do that, I'm going to go look around the water just to make sure there's jack shit in it. That I really need. It ain't no bite, and there's a sea dew over there. The it's uh, it's supposed it's supposed to be a reference Abbott to the next Cycler, level. Duke Nukem. Yes. Bicicleta. Uh, uh, bonjour. 
Ciao. See you next time. Shut up.